Real estate analysts are keeping an eye on the greater Victoria condo market and they are seeing a sizable slump. The sales of all residential properties climbed slightly from January until last month of this year, but the inventory of condominiums is up and prices are down more than 20 percent. Even high-end condo developments are dropping their prices as sellers are aiming to attract the lower end of the market. Mary Beth Burton has the story. The seller in this place has upgraded the unit top to bottom. As you can A two-floor, two-bedroom condo on Hillside in Victoria is listed at $299,000. After 40 days in a softening condo market, there are still no offers. The sales are down over 20%. Inventory is up 13%. What that means is there's a 34% uh, gap in the market right now, so it means there's good deals out for, for buyers out there to be had. The price of an average condo in Victoria went from $323,000 in January to $285,000 last month, and the lower-end condos are driving the market. 46% of all Greater Victoria condos sold for under $275,000 last month. Even high-end developments like the Hudson are dropping their price. Our prices started at 377 to about 420 previously. Uh, any of the suites now are all 349.9, including net HST parking and storage. So uh, again, we're just kind of responding to current market. The Hudson has dropped prices by 20%, and 65% of the 152 suites have been sold so far. The Hudson and its R1 bedrooms that are definitely selling, and they're selling very well. So what's behind the soft market? We're just not getting the high-end buyers coming here like we did in the past. Albertans and especially Americans are spending their real estate dollars closer to home. I've got lots of clients that are buying down in Phoenix, Arizona or Las Vegas. So yeah, I, I would expect they would stay there, especially with their dollar being weak. Another factor in Canada, the new rules that require more cash up front when purchasing a second property that's not a primary residence. You need 20% down now to buy. So 20% on this place would be somebody putting down $60,000. So is somebody going to put down $60,000 to have a rental property like this? It's, it's a little bit tougher on the, on the pocketbook. But the first half of March could see brighter condo sales. As of March 18th, the length of time to pay off a mortgage is reduced from a maximum of 35 years to 30. Not been much of a factor for us. We're not necessarily first-time home buyer product. Um, it does make a difference in your mortgage payments, though, so now's a good time to get out there and do something about getting a lower mortgage payment. While house prices in Victoria held steady at about $600,000 from January to February, the townhouse market saw an average decline of about $30,000. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.